Welcome back. I hope you all are doing well and you are staying safe. So in today's video, I'm going to review a new range of perfumes by the brand Masic Beauty. So if you don't know about Masic Beauty, she's the brand worn by Malvika Sitlani, one of the biggest beauty influencers of India. And she has come up with a new range of Ode Perfume, which are these EDPs. And she has released three variants, which I have picked up from her official website. And these are the perfumes which I have well tried and tested out for a couple of weeks. And I have gained a lot of thoughts about these uh, products, which I'm going to share in this video. So I'm going to talk about each and every variant, whether these are long wearing or not, whether these are having good projections or not every detail guys because i do am a perfume or a fragrance holder and i love perfumes and i have well tried and tested these perfumes out so i hope you're gonna definitely love this video but before that make sure you subscribe to my channel and click on that small little notification bell next to the red subscribe button so that you may get notifications every single time i upload a new video so without any more blabbering let's get started so these are the Masic Beauty or the Perform or Masic Beauty EDPs which look something like this and each of this perfume comes in this kind of outer cardboard box. The cardboard box is of very good quality. It's a beige and white in color. The perfume looks super duper pretty guys. I love this kind of clean glass bottle packaging with a rose gold cap and when you open the cap this is how the sprayer looks like. It looks very gorgeous on your vanity. So you can see the size. It's very compact. You can just put it in your purse and travel with it. So these are mini perfumes. I don't know whether she'll be releasing a full size of these perfumes or not but the size is really good guys it's very travel friendly each of this perfume is pressure to be 650 and you'll be getting 20 ml of product in each bottle which I think is quite a decent quantity because the brand has a tagline of luxury under budget so these seem to be like luxury perfumes because of the scent at the same time you are paying quite an affordable price and I always do try to support Indian youtubers that's the reason I picked this up so these are easily available on the official website of Masic Beauty and I do have a really good experience shopping from there because everything was really smooth and I didn't face any kind of issues and I'm going to link her website in the description box if you want you can surely check that out so these perfumes are available in total three variants which I have picked up Santorini, Bougie and Zaddy these are the three variants which she has come up with and I have picked up them separately so I have received them in these uh, separate cardboard boxes uh, three variants are also available in a trio so if you order the trio you'll be getting the three variants organized nicely in a single compact box so coming to the first variant is Santorini which looks something like this and the notes are mentioned at the back of the bottle on a sticker so coming to the notes of Santorini on the top notes it's mentioned as a peach, raspberry, gardenia and neroli in the middle notes it's having orange blossom, tube rose in the base notes it's having sandalwood and oak moss so the moment you sniff it you will make out that this is an exotic floral fragrance. If you love floral fragrances, you are definitely going to like this particular variant from the Centaur range. I'm sniffing it guys. It's just giving me a complete spring vibe. It's just like spring in a bottle. So it's opening up with really strong peach. So I can definitely sniff lots of really ripened peaches in it mixed with gardenia. So gardenia is something which I really really love. And I can definitely smell really nice a blissful orange blossom in it as well. So it's opening up with peach mixed up with gardenia which is giving it that fruity florally vibe along with orange blossom which is really really fresh. I can definitely smell a little bit, little bit of tuberose in it which is in their middle note but this is more of a beautiful exotic floral fragrance which is completely unique and when it dries down guys completely it gives you very soft floral fragrance more like skin scents mixed with sandalwood sandalwood is not that noticeable in this particular perfume so it's just like a little bit of blissful citrusy orange blossom mixed with gardenia giving it that beautiful exotic floral scent mixed with peach which is so much visible so i love this perfume because it's a completely clean fresh summery kind of perfume more like spring perfume Perfume, you can definitely wear it during the summertime and it will make you feel really good at the same time it's very clean so it's perfect for using on an everyday basis you can definitely use it to your office or college if you want to smell really hygienic if you want to smell really fresh because the notes are really smooth and it's giving you that beautiful 
clean vibe. When it completely dies down, it also gives you a shampoo-y kind of effect which also makes you feel really fresh. It's more of a fresh exotic floral fragrance and if you want to try out different floral fragrances, you can definitely check this one out. If you wear a beautiful floral pink lilac maxi dress and if you keep your hair open and wear the fragrance Santorini, it will be giving you that beautiful spring vibe and it will make you feel really good guys. So that's the thing which I can imagine. The projection of this particular one is not that great. It will not leave a trail behind you so it's not like that but if someone is around you that person can sniff it. So coming to the second variant is Bougie which is perhaps my favorite one out of the three which I have purchased. So this particular variant has notes. In the top notes it's having crisp apple, orange, pineapple, lemon. In the middle notes it's having spring cherry blossom, nutty almonds, pink pepper and in the base notes it's having milky sandal, patchouli, iris and raspberry. So this one is not a floral fragrance. It's a complete patchouli fragrance. So the moment you sniff it you will be able to make out that it has got very nice sweetness and muskiness of a patchouli. Patchouli is very fresh at the same time sweet and musky. So it's definitely opening up with beautiful green apple sorbet. If you have green apple sorbet it smells like that along with zesty lemon and lots of raspberries. So you can make out patchouli which is actually musky and a little bit sweet mixing up with green apple and along with that it's also adding tinge of zesty lemon along with the raspberry so it's a mixture of muskiness a little bit of fruitiness with a little bit of citrus effect as well but i can definitely sniff lots of patchoulis that is muskiness in it when it dries down it becomes a little bit powdery on the skin it gives you that powdery effect the strong patchouli fragrance is very very much noticeable which makes it a complete sensuous really unique at the same time so gorgeous it is a very sensuous kind of a fragrance at the same time classy or the perfume because i love the classiness guy it is actually a bougie perfume if you want to wear something like a boss lady this is the perfume that you can definitely wear to your office and wear it with your black blazer or with your white, white shirt and this will give you that bougie at the same time classy effect which I really like. It has also got a sensuous vibe to it so you can definitely wear it to your date night as well especially during night. So this one is more of a night fragrance whereas the other one the Santorini one is more of a day fragrance. So the only thing that I like to mention about this particular fragrance is that the moment you just apply it on your skin it starts with an alcoholic note so you can definitely sniff a little bit of alcohol but I think within two to three seconds of its application, it converts into the patchouli fragrance, which I absolutely, absolutely love. So coming to the last one is Zari, which I think is my least favorite out of the three because I love my perfume to be a little bit musky and woody, but it's this is not actually of my type. So this is a complete musky perfume, but it's a unisex perfume. But according to me, it's a more of a complete masculine musky fragrance. It's perfect for the boys, according to me. So this perfume starts with the top notes of yuzu, lemon, bergamot, mandarin, apple. In the middle notes, it's having patchouli, geranium, lily of the valley, bourbon, rose crimson nutmeg and in the base notes it's having musk amber sandalwood and vertiver so this is how it looks like so this one is a complete sexy musky perfume it's definitely a super sexy perfume it has got a lot of muskiness in it which is actually hitting my nose the moment i'm sniffing it but it's opening up with zesty lemon fragrance strong zesty lemon fragrance mixed with musk which has given it uh, more like a synthol lyril kind of soapy fragrance you know the vibe the freshness of synthol lyril soap the moment you apply it and it just gives you that beautiful zesty lemon kind of fragrance it is opening up with that definitely i can smell lots of patchouli in it patchouli mainly has sweet spicy at the same time musky fragrance so it's de I can definitely sniff lots of patchouli in it but in the extreme die down it is having a strong musky fragrance which has made it a complete unisex perfume so it's lemon zesty fragrance mixing with lots of patchouli along with musk which has given it a complete strong kind of masculine vibe which I can definitely make out from this particular fragrance this is the perfume which I think would be a little bit strong if you are more into lighter like a skin sense kind of perfumes because of the musk and the patchouli in it. At the same time this is the most long lasting one out of the three which I have purchased. So the projection of this particular one is good. 
yeah it will leave a little bit of trail behind when you wear it but it's not that overwhelming kind of projections which i mostly get from my zara perfumes or my dolce and gabbana but i can definitely imagine a man wearing a midnight blue blazer satin midnight blue blazer with a beige shirt with long beard wearing this perfume and he's looking super sexy and he's just giving you that sensuous vibe so it's that kind of perfume it's a little bit strong than the other fragrances but but i would say if you are more into floral fragrances try out the santorini one which is a, such a beautiful spring fragrance bougie has my heart because this is a fragrance which i think i will be using the most because it's like an everyday office kind of fragrance it makes you feel so classy and zaddy is something which i think i'd be probably giving it to my husband because he would definitely love it guys so these are the three variants which i have tried out so i've talked about the fragrances the notes and everything now coming to the longevity power of these fragrances so the longevity power of these fragrances is very very poor so these edps or they perform are having really bad longevity power so i'm really disappointed that these hardly lasts on my skin to the max of one and a half hours not more than that after that you have to apply it on your skin if you are applying it on your skin on my clothes this last to the max of two hours not more than that it need definitely needs a lot of reapplication at the same time these perfumes are not having that strong projections all of these will not leave that kind of strong trail behind which people will be able to sniff people around you will be not able to make out that you are wearing perfumes until and unless that person is coming very close to you but the fragrance zaddy has got a little bit of projection which i have mentioned but the other two variants are not having that strong projection guys the moment i apply it i can sniff it after two hours it's completely gone you have to reapply it you will not find that fragrance in the air around you so that's the thing which i like to mention the longevity power is a really less i need my perfume to be projective enough because i'm investing in my perfumes guys but since the brand has just started up with her perfumes i think that she will definitely work on that and makes it a little more long lasting at the same time more projective if you want to try out different unique fragrances just like different fragrances from your regular deodorants from your regular perfumes cheap perfumes just regular perfumes which are available in the market under budget affordable perfumes which just smells the same the same kind of patchouli fragrance or same amber kind of fragrance if you want more like smelling luxury under budget definitely you can try this one out guys because the smells are the fragrances are as i have mentioned are completely unique and different and it makes you feel really good these fragrances are very unique at the same time comparable to really nice expensive luxury fragrances so the brand has the tagline of luxury and under, under budget i'm really happy with my purchase these are compact easy to travel with i wish that mystic beauty works on the longevity power of this perfumes if that be done this will be amazing steps guys and if she works on the longevity power and everything and if she brings up bigger bottles i'll be surely purchasing that so that's what i think about the mystic beauty or the perfum or edps which i picked up from the official website of mystic beauty which i have purchased by myself and i'm sharing my honest thoughts about these perfumes guys and i think that will be definitely helpful for you if you are into perfumes and if you want to buy perfumes this video will be definitely helpful for you i'm going to put the links of these three perfumes down in the description box if you want you can definitely check that out so i hope that this video has helped you if it did do not forget to hit on the like button and subscribe to my channel for getting more of these videos we'll see you soon in my next video until then take care of yourself stay safe stay healthy bye guys